this is Amy with One Mommy Scrapping and welcome to Take Two Tuesday. I have an awesome uh, layout to show you. You saw the sketch that I was using just a moment ago and then you saw a close-up photo of the um, main photo for my uh, for the sketch today. Um, the sketch is by Miranda Weber from hashtag my scrappy life so if you do not know who she is I highly recommend you check her out on Facebook. I am using Jilly Bean Soup Super Celebration Collection to do um, most of this, most of this uh, layout. I've got a couple little embellishments from other places. So my birthday was this past Saturday, and I was so excited because um, I got this custom drawing from Bill Amend. And if you don't know who Bill Amend is, he is the cartoonist who does the comic strip Foxtrot. Um, and I've read that for years and he happened to be at a comic book show that I was working at my husband and daughter attended and they went and got this um, custom drawing of Quincy eating paper and um, for my birthday because they know how much I love Bill Amend and love Foxtrot and Bill Amend put one iguana scrapping up there after finding out the name of my website and YouTube channel which I thought was absolutely brilliant so Focusing on the layout now, I have this blue gingham in the background and I've chose the floral paper that I'm inking right now to be my paper that has all the different colors, but I wanted something kind of to go between the pink with the hearts and the blue gingham, so I chose that yellow, green, and blue plaid, which has some of the colors but not all of them kind of to bridge the gap. I'm inking everything in uh, hickory smoke. And I'm using the back side of, I can't remember which paper, I think it's, um, I actually have the layout I'm right in front of me. Oh, the back side of the plaid paper, um, which is the yellowy green with stars on it. You can't really see the stars at all once I uh, trim it, but it just adds a little bit on there to, uh, to as a barrier between the bright white of the photo and then the slightly creamy white of the floral paper. And Miranda's sketch has two larger photos. Well, her sketch has one 4x6 photo, and I've got what's essentially a 4x4, four four, and then two smaller photos um, at the bottom. And I've got three teeny tiny ones that made up the rest of the 4x6 four um, picture. I just made a collage. And it's me opening it up, opening up the gift, and realizing what actually I got. So someone came on, excuse me, and asked what I was scrapbooking and I was showing what I was doing. So this was from my um, Happy Scrappy Sunday Live, which I do 3 p.m. Eastern Time in my YouTube, or not my YouTube, this is YouTube, in my Facebook group, which there's a link in the description if you would like to join us. So I am putting lots of extra adhesive on the back of these small ones because um, they're going over all the layers of paper. And a shock to me and just about everybody else is I actually had all of my supplies pulled. I had my alphabets, I had my die cuts, I had my Nuvo drops, I had my ink, I even had the stamp I wanted to use. So I'm trying to decide which word to write in which color, basically. And I'm doing the word one with these tiny little alphabets from Jilly Bean Soup. And then the title of it's One Iguana Scrapping, just like it is um, on the actual photo. And I do iguana in the white foam puffy alphabet thickers. And let me tell you, even with the word iguana on the page, <laughs> I had to go and keep referencing it, going, what letter comes next? I want to make sure I spell this right. And while it doesn't show up well on the video, it does show up quite well in person. Now, you saw I tore the letter S sticker, which just annoyed me. It was really the letter S, the one that I'm going to use, a letter I'm going to use a lot. Um, and it, so I got another S, tried putting these down, and I got three letters in, and I'm like, I cannot read the word scrapping. So I stand up, I have my, all my alphabet letter stickers on in bins above my um, desk. So I pull out a couple options. I end up liking these um, aqua foam thickers. They match the um, colors of this layout, I thought a lot better 
then the Fitzgeralds I pulled, and the Puffy Alphabet. It's kind of like an epoxy one. I don't know what you got, but this one I like the best. It's not a perfect match, but it works. So now I've got the title done. I will eventually um, do my journaling, but not on camera. So I've gone through the die cuts ahead of time and I kind of grouped things together. I knew I wanted to include that large cluster of um, balloons, but the llama one I thought worked rather well. And then I'm pulling out some of these puffy stickers from Rosie's studio. It's from her Soul Shine, or I guess that's a her. I don't know what company. I don't know who's at the, the company. Um, I just assumed Rosie all of a sudden. Those are a project I'm doing for school. Somebody was asking about fussy cutting. I'm like, this is the only thing I'm fussy cutting. But um, the stuff from Soul Shine worked very well. And Miranda told me I needed to add a pineapple, which I stuck right at the end of the G for scrapping. And you can't really see it right now. Um, I'll peel it up eventually and add a word banner under it and then put it on top and then you can see it much clearer then. So I move this embellishment cluster that was on the lower part of the photo, I moved up higher. I just didn't quite feel right with being balloons to be so low. And there's my sister calling me because she thinks it's funny that to call me on FaceTime when she's watching the video. <laughs> and I decided if I'm gonna go ahead and put this um, llama in, I'm gonna go ahead and put the alligator in too. Besides, I've already got a reptile with Quincy on there. So I'm going through my little word phrases, trying to pull out the ones I like. I end up pulling up one that says sparkle and shine, which I will use with the balloons up in the top. I pull out, a, that's red, I pull out one that says love this which will go with the llama, and then I pull out a blue one that says make a wish, which will go down um, on the other side of that lower photograph. And I'm trying to make, I couldn't, I struggle with getting love this to work. I wanted the llama to be standing on it, and then I couldn't get the pineapple to work, and then it was too long. It was just like, ah. Oh. But I finally got it to work, and finally got the pineapple on. And this is the one that says sparkle and shine, and I layer it, um, half of it with foam tape and the other I just put adhesive on because the balloons are already on foam tape. So I start struggling a little bit trying to get all of these embellishments to work and I finally realized I do not have to put everything on one page. Like that is not what they're meant for. I pull out some of the stickers from the Super Celebration sticker and label sheet and it ends up being all I really use from that um, sticker sheet. And I decide to put the lower embellishment cluster on both sides of the photos instead of just on one. So I have make a wish there. And now these are my pink fresh studio puffy star stickers. I love these. They make them in stars and hearts. And oh my gosh, I could just use sheets upon sheets of these stars, especially those hand drawn looking ones. And as I'm laying this stuff down, I'm realizing, um, going ahead and adding some of the smaller stars now to kind of round out the clusters. I can use some of those puffy words from the Rosie Studio puffy sticker sheet um, also in there. Just struggling trying to find a spot for that blue star right there. There you go. And so the one up at the top, which I move, there you go. I move it under Spark and Shine, says the best. And then I choose one for under the words love this to be totally rad. And then underneath make a wish, I say awesome. And I'm trying to decide if it needs anything else, and I come to the conclusion it really doesn't. I think it looks pretty good. I go ahead and sign the back because I constantly forget to sign the back of it after I put the Nouveau Drops on, and I'm like, what date did I do this? So Nouveau Drop colors, I have Red Berry, Dandelion Yellow, and Caribbean Ocean. I just kind of sprinkle all of those here, there, and everywhere. And that page is now done. I'm trying to decide if I should move the word one lower. And it's kind of the consensus in the Facebook group among the folks chatting that it looks fine where it is. And I kind of like it because that pink flower there 
looks like it looks purposeful. So still shots are coming up. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I hope you guys all have a lovely day. Bye.